The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chuck Williams, Diamond Global Power Affiliate with the Shopping Sherlock. And we got a packed out audience today, and I want to welcome all of you that are watching live and those of you that are watching a recording later after the live event. It is my distinct privilege today to introduce to you one of the top up-and-coming superstars in the entire network marketing direct sales industry, and especially the Shopping Sherlock. Mr. Brandon Ivey is a global power affiliate. You'll understand a bit more about that in a little bit, but he is an expert when it comes to marketing, mobile apps, and he's going to share with us a little bit about your timing and positioning with this incredible product. Out to California, global power affiliate, Brandon Ivey. Take it away, sir. Thank you very much, Chuck, and it's also an honor to be able to work with uh, the number one money earner in the United States with Shopping Sherlock, uh, the only diamond in North America, which is Chuck Williams. We're not even in the same organization, but I look to him as if he's my sponsor, and he, he's been helping me out since the first day I joined this business and our team, so I appreciate all the hard work that Chuck has been doing for not his team, but the entire company as well. And guys, we are at a the beginning of the new generation of Shopping Sherlock. This is a new era for us. Uh, the launch of our mobile app just took place this past weekend at our London International European Convention, and a lot of people... You, you, you must really understand why this took place, why we took this road, and how this is going to impact you and benefit from, from for all of us. See, the number one thing we already know is that e-commerce is the fastest growing economy on the planet. We like to call it the greatest economic shift in wealth in the history of mankind. But even within e-commerce, you have segments of this industry that is always evolving. It's always growing. It's always changing. Technology is getting more advanced every single day. And it's important that as a technology type of a company, we keep pace with that growth. Uh, if you look at Howard Schultz, the owner and CEO of Starbucks, said in January of 2014 that we are at the beginning of a sea change, a revolution in online shopping, the way people are now uh, doing their habits of shopping online and using their mobile devices to access the Internet. And if you have a business and you are not positioned to take advantage of that, you're not going to be in a, in a business for long. Now, if you look at Facebook, two and a half years ago, Facebook, 100% of all of their revenue, and we're talking about billions of dollars, was generated through desktop access of the Internet by people going to Facebook through the Internet. Two and a half years later, 59% of all of their revenue is generated through their mobile app so much so that they consider themselves a mobile app company. They have over a billion users worldwide averaging $2 for every active Facebook account. Doesn't that sound familiar? See, Shopping Sherlock right now pays out an active user $2 per active user. So we're obviously following the right business model. Not only that, Shopping Sherlock, after two years, we were debt free. Uh, we're debt free to date. We've been in profits since our second month in business. We've already had our first million dollar earner in the UK. Nobody has heard of our company, and we did all of that without the mobile app. So imagine what we're about to do with the mobile app now. So I'm going to show you guys just how this works, what you, how you can download it, and how it's going to work for you guys. Now you're already familiar with the desktop version. This is even better than the desktop version because it has more features to it. It's easier to use, and you carry your mobile device on you wherever you go. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to invitation.shoppingsherlock.com slash your ID number. That is very important, your ID number, because when you do that, you're going to go to a page that looks just like this, and your ID code is already going to be there for your guests. So anybody that you want to sign up in the business, this is what they're going to see. This is the home page. This is also where you can watch the video. You click on watch video, and we have here a minute and 33 second video that, that's a promo for the mobile app. The next thing you want to do is determine whether you have an Android or an iOS. iOS simply means Apple or anything that's on the Apple platform, not necessarily just an iPhone, but tablets and, and, and what have you. But you have the Android phones, and you have the, the Apple type phones, the iOS. The iOS version just launched two days ago. So those of you who did not know, if you have an Apple, if you have a, an iPad, you can now download the app onto your iPad or iPhone. Those of you who have Androids, that was up last week. Now I want to make this point very, very clear. We are in what's called a public beta. 
Before that, we were in private beta, where a few of the, the leaders and the, and the corporate staff were testing out the mobile app on their device, uh, just making sure that it's working and how it works and whatnot. But now we're into mobile be uh, public beta because we need to expand the amount of feedback that we have. We need to test the engines. We need to test how, how big this thing is going to be. So before you go out and mass market this, in fact, we do not want you to go out and mass market our mobile app just yet. It is open for public beta, which means anybody can get the app. But this is a time for us to take our time to be familiar with the app, to learn how to use it, to find out any kinks and bugs. It, no matter, you, anytime you have a launch of any product, and this goes for any company, there's always bound to be some glitches or errors that we don't find in the, in the, in the private beta that you're going to find in the public beta. So we definitely want you to find out whatever glitches, whatever suggestions you have, because I like to call this a living mobile app. It's not static. It is always going to be changing. It is always going to be upgrading. We're always going to be adding the latest and greatest technology to our app. So we definitely want to get your feedback so that we can make sure that this is an app that everybody can love and use and it's going to be seamless with the public. Also what's important is once you've got this app, to get your feedback, you want to go to a website that is called feedback.shoppingsherlock.com. Feedback dot shopping sherlock dot com enter your name your email address your id number and give your feedback be as descriptive as possible encourage everybody on your team as well to also download the app and to get use it and give their own feedback to the app so i'm going to give you an example here let's say you have an android phone this is how this works There's a lot of people you know they're not too techni technical savvy and they want to know how do i download the app well before i click on the android if you have an Android phone, you can go to the Google Play Store on your Android. You want to type in Shopping Sherlock Mobile. Do not type in just Shopping Sherlock. If you type in Shopping Sherlock, see we have an old app that's on there. That old app was only daily deals for us. So if you want the new app, and the only way to see the new app is to type in Shopping Sherlock Mobile. And you can download the new app that way. I would prefer that for now you would go through the invitation.shoppingsherlock.com click on Android and here's what happens so I click on the Android as you see mine is already installed it already knows that I installed it but if I click on that install button here's what happens it's gonna say choose a device if you have an Android phone uh, it's, it's re your phone is registered to the Google Play Store so it knows what phones you have registered here. Don't ask me how and why the technology behind it, but it recognized that I had my Samsung, uh, this is my Galaxy S5, also my wife, if you see here, uh, this is my wife's Verizon phone, Galaxy S5 on Verizon. I have a Galaxy S5 on Sprint, and then this is my old Galaxy S3 that is on here as well. I don't have it, I don't use that phone anymore, but you just click the phone that you have attached, click install, and then it will automatically download on your phone. So you can turn on your phone, you can see on your settings that the app is downloading. Once it's downloaded, all you do is click on your applications and you will see the Sherlock icon. So then you can click on the Sherlock icon and this is what's going to pop up. These are our screens. This is the very first screen. It says Sherlock, uh, Shopping Sherlock, Shop Online, Save Time and Money. Then with that, after about three seconds, it moves over to your dashboard. This little three dots at the top, you can click on those to come back to your home screen where you've got all of these tabs on the left. Home, shop, daily deals, flights, hotels, price scanner, invite friend, branding, special offer, coupons, inbox, notifications, select country, and log out. Here's one thing you don't want to do. The very first time you log in, it's going to ask you to sign in. So you're going to sign in by using your same way you would on your computer, your email address and your password. You only need to do this one time. See, the one thing with the desktop version is that every time you, you went to shoppingsherlock.com, you had to sign in every time. And that kind of discouraged our customers. They wanted shorter steps. Well, with your mobile app, you only need to do it once, and you're always logged in. So you never have to click on log out unless you have a multiple account. But you only need to do it one time. And that's good for our customers. 
the next thing that happens, you go back to your dashboard, you click on shop, it does the exact same thing as it does on your, on your uh, web browser on the desktop. You've got flights, hotels, price scanner. Now I know currently on the Android there's some bugs on the daily deals and a few of the other things that, that I talked to the CTO, Thomas Bang, a lot of these is going to be worked out by Monday. So Monday we're going to look for whatever corrections and updates have been made and then we're going to go back and give even more feedback. Because sometimes when you fix one thing, it causes a problem somewhere else. So that's up to us to find those, those glitches and those errors and, and, and report back to that feedback. So be looking for Monday to see some more updates on whatever glitches you may find right now, but still go ahead and report it. One thing one of my members has had a lot of fun with John Baham is the price scanner. Uh, and I know I have with my son running around the house scanning everything. The correct way to use the price scanner is once you click the price scanner, all you need to do is aim it at the barcode. That's it. Just hold it steady for a couple of seconds, and it's like it works like a camera. It will automatically take a picture, and then will automatically search the Sherlock. In the current form of the price scanner, it is only searching the search engine of Amazon. And as you know from Amazon, Amazon searches thousands of other stores that they sell their products through. So it searches through Amazon now. We will be upgrading that to add more search engines to it in the future. So know that going in, but have fun with it. Go to the store, look at something you want to buy, scan it, and see what happens. It's a very cool feature. Hotels and flights works the same. Also, you've got the shop. You see this, the, the, the screenshot here for shopping, daily deals, hotel search, the branding. Uh, let me go back here. I don't want to go too much into that. Now, I want to show you, uh, make sure that your phone is up to par because I had a couple of people say that they couldn't download the app. The reason why is because your phone is out of date. It's time to upgrade and get a new phone. This is the latest, greatest technology. It's like trying to work your computer now with Windows 95 is not going to work. You need to have at least an Android 3.0 or up. Android 3.0 or up. Once you've got that all downloaded, you also want to write yourself a review. So you want to go right down here write a review. So where do I go to get to the review again? Well, you can go on your, your, your mobile app and uh, go to the Play Store, go to Shopping Sherlock Mobile and write an app, or come right back to your store here, invitation.shoppingsherlock.com, click on Android or iOS like you're going to download the app again, and then just click on Write a Review. Here we have, a, uh, look at this, John Baham. It is one app for everything you need to do shopping, daily deal scanning, all that stuff. Damon Pinson, amazing. We have nothing, I have heard nothing but top, top notch for our app. We're already rated at 4.8. But we want to get as much reviews as possible because when we do launch this officially to the rest of the world, when we're going to start mass producing it, what do people do when they see an app? They go down and they want to read the reviews. They want to read what people have to say about this. So you want to make sure you take the time to have all positive apps uh, reviews as you possibly can. Let me go back now to uh, if you have an iOS version. It works the same exact way. iOS, which means your uh, iPhone. I don't have an iPhone, so I don't have this downloaded. But it's basically the same exact thing as the Android. So just follow the instructions to have it downloaded onto your, your site. The next thing you see here is desktop. Well, you can also, if you want to invite somebody onto the use your, your, your app, normally the old way we will send them to shoppingsherlock.com, right, with your ID number. I would advise you do this instead. Go to invitation.shoppingsherlock.com. If you have a GoDaddy uh, link or another website where you can forward it, I would advise you do so. Click on desktop. It's going to take you straight to your home page. I'm actually logged in right now, so let me log out. It's going to take you straight to your home page once again. So they can actually click right here, register for free to start saving now. So that's what you put your email address in just like the old way. Let's say I want uh, you log in. I want to show you guys something because as we launched the mobile app, we also made some upgrades to the dashboard in the back office. So you see here the dashboard looks a bit different, but you can also click over here. It says grow your network. You click on Grow Your Network. You have the Desktop Invite Friend feature here. So you see all of this? Invite Friend feature. All you need to do is click on Invite User. You can invite them through Facebook or through mail. So if I click on Facebook, here's what happens. 
a new page opens up and give it a second, give it a second. Wow, look at that. All of my contacts on Facebook. All I have to do is click invite. That's it. <laughs> All I have to do is click on invite. Now here's what also happens with that. It's going to invite all your members. You can also do it through email. So you just put in the email address of whoever you want to invite. You can change the language and it will invite, send an email invite to your, your friends. Once you have this, start inviting people. And I talked to Tom, uh, what's going to end up happening. Brandon, you're breaking up just a little bit. Let your screen catch up, and then we should be able to hear you again. Brandon, we may have temporarily lost you. All right, while he's coming back, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something my daughter Jessica discovered. She was doing a price scanner. She was scanning barcodes, and it took to the Amazon database, which is phenomenal. But then all she did is she copied the description, and she pasted it into the shop feature on the app, and she got the entire uh, gamut. So she was able to go from site to site to site, just like we normally do. It's phenomenal what people are learning. Also, don't get overly excited about this invite system yet. Just a few more days, you know, give us a little time to work out just some of the major issues like the daily deals. It won't take long. Thomas and the developers are on it. Just send your feedback. But before you start doing any serious mass uh, invitations. Let's get those things worked out. You only got one chance to make a first impression. Brandon, oh, can we guys. hear you again, buddy? So with that, I don't want to... Yeah, can you, can you hear me, Chuck? Now I can. We lost you for about the last three minutes, but I filled in admirably, I hope. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, what was the last thing you heard me say? I won't go ahead and repeat all of that again, but... You had just started on this invite, and, and that's when we lost you. Did you, were you able to see the invite of the Facebook friends? Yes, we saw the Facebook friends, and then you started talking about how you could do uh, email, and then we lost you. All right, well, uh, just real quick, I said after you invite your, those friends, we have the map feature where you're going to be able to see all of your invites worldwide. Now, your current customers that you have right now, your current customers is going to slowly aggregate onto your map within the week. That was Thomas Bang is working on that right now to fill that in, and then any new customers are going to add. But we're going to do a follow-up training on this, because can you imagine you signing up one customer, and your customer doing an invite to 5,000 of their own friends on the mobile app. They click on the invite friend feature. Now you have 5,000 customers, and you only signed up one customer. What if those customers send an invite up to 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 people? It is conceivable that you may only personally have 50 customers, but because they're sharing the app with everybody else, you end up having over 50,000 customers worldwide. That is a powerful feature. We're going to do training on this in the next couple of weeks to show you how once we get into the launch officially worldwide of the mobile app, after we're out of beta, we're going to start to train on that. But for now, we want you guys to get familiar with the app, get familiar with the invite friend feature, give your feedback on it, and, and then we're going to really roll out with it. So I think I've wasted up my time so far with that. We're very excited where, where we're going with this. This is the brand new Sherlock. This is the new launch of our company. And I want to turn it right back on over to Diamond Chuck Williams. So Chuck, it's all yours. Brandon, stick around. I'm going to come back to you in just a few minutes. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a disclaimer right up front on this presentation. I have never been this excited in my life about any business I've ever been involved in. This is incredible. So if I come across a little too excited for you, please understand this is not normal. It's just I am that excited. So this is basically the opportunity you've been looking for.